I have a question for all those people who do not accept evolution and who do not accept climate change. Hi, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And while I concern myself about atheism a lot, I am curious. So many people are dead set against evolution. They are sure that it is false. They are sure that it's some sort of trickery. To what end? What are they tricking you about? Are they trying to prove God is not real? If you could be assured that evolution, and evolution is something that we've known about for thousands of years. Now, it wasn't until about 150 years ago when Darwin published The Origins of Species that we truly understood the mechanisms that evolution operated under. But we knew things evolved because we find lots of species that are no longer around and we see evidence of species changing over time. We just didn't know the mechanisms. Darwin is the one who published it. Darwin isn't the only one who figured it out. Lots of people figured it out, but Darwin was the one who published it. But Darwin was a believer, by the way. He was a creationist. He believed in God. He was, you know, he was with all you Christians and all you people who believe in creation. He was with you. He did not have an ulterior motive to coming up with the theory of evolution. So what is this attitude that evolution cannot be true? Is it because you think if evolution is true that your God cannot be true? If you could be assured that evolution had nothing to do with your God existing, would you stop fighting against it? The Pope accepts evolution. Of course, I'm sure he thinks that you know, intelligent design is all about basically giving God credit for evolution. And personally, I, I think that's a bullshit argument as well. But people seem to think all these evolutionary biologists are just faking it. They're making stuff up to try to convince people that evolution is real and it's fake. Why? Why? What, what is the incentive? I don't understand. And the same thing with climate change. People deny climate change. The evidence is overwhelming. We've known about climate change since the 30s. Uh, the guy who did It's a Wonderful Life, Frank Capra, did a movie back in like the 50s. And he talked about climate change and the effects that man has had on the environment. We've known about these things. What is this attitude that the scientists are out to get you, they're out to fool you, they're out to trick you, they're making millions of dollars by faking it. There's no money to be made by faking evolution. There is no money to be made by faking climate change. These are things that help us understand our environment and our origins. Understanding evolution helps us to solve problems, not only problems that we've had for, well, hundreds of years. It helps solve uh, cure diseases, but it's helping us to solve problems in the future. Same thing with climate change. Accepting climate change allows us to fix the problem. Is it all because, oh, it's not our fault. We didn't do it. Oh, we, nobody wants to take responsibility. Is that what it is? Nobody wants to say it's our fault. And it doesn't matter. Even if it is not our fault, climate change is real and we need to address it. So this denial, this, this outright, it's not true, is unhelpful. These things are true. And only by acknowledging them and accepting them and addressing them can we move towards fixing problems. Just denial, flat out denial, saying, oh, it's not true. Evolution's not true. Climate change's not true. That is unhelpful. That's like religion. That's throwing your hands up and saying, we know what we need to know and we're not going to do anything about it. And that's not how humanity moves forward. That's how humanity moves backwards. Anyways, I'm Tom, your friendly neighbor atheist. And for anyone there out in YouTube land, who thinks evolution is a sham, who thinks scientists are trying to fool you, or thinks that climate change is a sham, please let me know. Please put in the comments below, 
because I'm very curious your reasons why you believe this. I don't want to hear your evidence because I've heard lots of evidence. I'm just curious why you think are the scientists trying to fool you? Are they trying to prove that your God is not real? What is your motivation or what do you think their motivation is for saying these things that you do not agree with? Okay? Anyways, that's all I got for today. I'll catch you next time.